اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قلت يا رسول الله اخبرني بعمل يدخلني الجنه ويباعدني عن النار قال لقد سالت عن عظيم وانه ليسير على من يسر الله عليه تعبد الله ولا تشرك به شيئا وتقيم الصلاة وتؤتي الزكاة وتصوم رمضان وتحج البيت ثم قال الا ادلك على ابواب الخير الصوم جنة والصدقة تطفئ الخفيق هدية كما يطفئ الماء النار وصلاة الرجل في جوف الليل الآخر ثم تلا تتجافى جنوبهم عن المزاج يدعون ربهم خوفا وطمعا ومما رزقناهم ينفقون فلا تعلم نفس ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين جزاء بما كانوا يعملون ثم قال الا ادلك على راس الامر وعموده وذروه سنامه قلت بلى يا رسول الله قال راس الامر الاسلام وعموده الصلاه ثم قال يا معاذ الا ادلك على ملاك الامر كله قلت بلى يا رسول الله فاخذ بلسانه وقال كف عليك لسانك يا معاذ فقلت يا رسول الله فنواخذ ما نتكلم به قال سكنتك امك يا معاذ وهل يكب النار في نار جهنم على وجوههم على او على مناخرهم الا حصائد السنتهم رواه الترمذي وقال حديث حسن صدق الله وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين My dear respected brothers in Islam Alhamdulillah we performed our salat al-fajr Salat al-fajr is mashhood al-malaika inna salat al-fajr kanat kana mashhooda May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah Now after salat we are sitting here in masjid In hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says hadith is qudsi attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Yaqul Allah azza wa jalla inni la ahmu ala qaumin Thumma nazartu ila ummar buyut Allah fasaraftu anhum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that sometime I intend to send the azab on a group of people or in a community but then I look at those who are the ummar of masajid those who are building up the masajid of Allah with ibadat So then I take away that azab from that community. And especially Salat al-Fajr, that is the proper imara in building up of masajid. To building masajid structure-wise, that's also the best type of ibadah. But the actual imara in building up of masajid is 
to keep it alive with ibadah, with ilm, with ta'aleem, with tizkar, with zikr and so and so on. إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاءَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاءَ وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَعَسَى أُولَئِكَ يَكُونُ مِنَ الْمُهْتَدِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the proper imara of the masajid of Allah is مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ is by that one who has a strong belief in Allah and in al yawm al -akhir. And he is performing the prayer and giving zakat. Now if somebody has iman in Allah and Akhirah, he is committed to ibadat badaniya and ibadat maliya. So then the result is Walam Yaksha illallah such like people they do not have the fear of anything or anybody but only Allah. And Hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says La yajitami wa khawfani fi talbi al-mu'min Two fears will never get together in the heart of a true believer. A person will be having either the fear of Allah or the fear of dunya. So if someone, he claims that he has the fear of Allah. So that it doesn't matter what the situation is. What he is getting stuck in, he will not shiver. He will never shake. And if somebody, he has the fear of anything or anyone in any Anyway, so his claim of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is not a fluent thing. That's only claim. My dear respected brothers in Islam, I related a hadith narrated by Imam Tirmizi. And Imam Tirmizi has titled the hadith, wa qala Tirmizi hadha hadith wa hasan. Hadith is of two types. One we call it hadith maqbool and the other one is called hadith mardood. But these are terms and mustalahat. These are not words that you will be looking for its meaning somewhere in dictionary. When we say hadith maqbool, so you will ask Imam Tirmizi what you mean or what the muhaddisin mean by hadith maqbool. And when we say hadith mardood, little meaning is rejected. But that is not the meaning of hadith madud in ghilm al-hadith and fan hadith Maqbool is a higher quality of hadith. And mardud is a hadith but that is less quality. Or you can say that maqbool is a healthy hadith. And mardud is a hadith which has some weakness. Or that is a hadith which has some sickness. So now human is human. Doesn't matter he is healthy or he is sick. He is strong or he is weak. We cannot say that this healthy brother is a human. And me a weak one I am human but only 10%. I am not human even. Because being insan and human, in logic we say that this is Kuli Mutawati. That is not Kuli Mushakik. Unfortunately, from course, we have dropped the logic totally. We have dropped philosophy totally. Now we are focusing on Imbul Kalam how to drop it. If we will be dropping signs one by one, so what will be studying then? So Kuli Mutawati, that human is human. He is white, he is black, he is gray, he is brown, he is tall, he is short. He is healthy, he is weak. He is Easterner or he is from Western world. 
He is a rich man. Or he is hand to mouth. As far as a human is concerned, all of them, they are human equally. Al-Nasu Sawasiyatul Kaasman al-Mushk Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Human are even and equal like the teeth of a comb. So if there is a comb which has some short teeth and long teeth broken in between and you will comb it it will scratch your skull. If it will get septic you will be suffering. Same is the case of humanity and society. If that type of up, up and down is there, so that will be a sick society. My dear respected brothers and sisters, in, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. No, not you, because you are committed. I'm asking the brothers here, because I think that I am speaking the same language you speak here. Even though you are from Chicago and I'm from California. So understand you what I say? Yes. Yeah, you are two nice people. And nice people mostly naturally they are shy. But don't feel shy. When you ask, so say yes or no. I was solemnizing the Nika of one young man. At that time, the culture was to an area well that the girl was not saying yes very soon. Sheikh was sitting there. The Wakil used to ask the girl, have you given yourself by way of Islamic nikah with the bride and money of 1,000 Pakistani rupees in the presence of these two Muslim witnesses? And the girl, because it was considered a shame for girls at that time if she will say yes, yes. So in Pashtun community, the old ladies used to say, what a behaya girl you are. <laughs> you put us down. So it took more than half an hour. She was not saying yes. Then the young boy, I asked him, have you accepted? Miss so and so, the daughter of Mr. So and so, with that time he does not have any other daughter. With the bride and money are such like amount in the presence of these Sumers, the witnesses by way of Islamic nikah, his own friends, they had already told him, if you will take less time than the girl, we'll throw you in the water canal in this freezing cold. <laughs> so he was saying, <laughs> <laughs> again I asked him again so when it, 10 minutes passed so I said look at him very easy very simple thing if I will ask you you want to eat food so if you are hungry you have to say yes if you are not so then say no thank you same is the case here when I ask you have you accepted if you want and need it, so just say yes. If not, so say no. Because your younger brother, he has told me already, big brother we call him Lala in our town and terminology, that if Lala is not ready, so I am very much ready. So now I have not presented the offer and the proposal. He said, yes, I accept it. <laughs> Same is your case. Yes. So when I ask, so say yes. If you didn't understand, so say no, I will repeat it. Because I'm not delivering in such a way that people do not understand that I'll be going on ahead and ahead and ahead. Because I'm overloaded and saturated too much and I want to unload myself. No. Whatever I have and I learned from my mashayikh, I am bound to deliver it to the brothers and sisters. So, hadith is of two types. One is maqbool and the other one is mardud. And then we say that hadith in maqbool is of four types. One is called sahih is 
The second one is called the Hasan Lizatihi. The third one is called Sahil Rerihi. And the fourth one, Sahil Lizati, Sahil Rerihi. And the fourth one is called Hasan Lizatihi. And then after that, the Hadith Mardu types are coming, our kinds are coming. Which is a few times based upon five qualities of Hadith Sahih. Unfortunately, now I commonly mean I don't know why we are playing game with this ilm, with this wahi. That he doesn't know even the definition of hadith. And he will be asking you the hadith which you quoted. That is hadith sahih. So I never answer such like people that this is sahih or not. I say brother to tell you the truth. Actually I don't know hadith sahih. If you will define it, then I will be able to answer you. Then he is looking for some way out, where to run away. Because he himself does not know that what has he said he mean. I said this is not a word, this is a term. And term is not only to add on fun. Got it? So my dear respected brothers, Imam Tirmini said about this hadith, the hadith Hassan, which is a type of Makbul. Sayyidina Mu'az ibn Jamal radiyallahu ta'ala an. He asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Ibn Jabal, he is such a man about whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَأَعْلَمْهُمْ بِالْحَلَالِ وَالْحَرَامِ مَعَازِ Ibn Jabal. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the utmost kind person towards my ummah is Abu Bakr. The strong one regarding deen of Allah is Umar. The person who has utmost haya, that is Osman. And a person who is the utmost good Qazi, that is Ali ibn Abi Talib. And the Afqah, the Faqih and the Jurist, he is Abdullah ibn Masud. وَأَعْلَمُمْ بِالْحَلَالِ وَالْحَرَامِ مُعَاذِ ibn Jabal. And the much more knowledgeable person regarding lawful and unlawful in Sharia, that is Mu'adh ibn Jabal, رضي الله تعالى عنه. So that ibn Jabal, he was a young man, but very great scholar and sahab. So he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Akhbirni bi'amal yudkhilni ya jannah wa yuba'idni an inna. That ya Rasulullah, tell me or inform me about such an action, deed or amal, which can take me to jannah and keep me away of fire. Because that's what we mean. We are looking for, why early in the morning you woke up and came here? Because you want to go to Jannah and not to enter to the hellfire, yes? yes. Again, yes. same thing. Yes. 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 May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from hellfire. We don't want to see it even. Even though, a sahabi said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was very sad and upset. He said, Ya Rasulullah, in the Qarat of the Kitab Allah, in minkum illa wariduha, kana ala rabbika, hatma maqdiya, that nobody is there, but he will enter the fire. So nobody, it will be no exception. Everybody here will be entering the fire. In minkum illa wariduha, or he will come to the shore of fire, Urud al ma al majib ila shatte. Al urud al ma al majib ila shatte. When you say that warat to al nar, so it means you came to the shore of water canal or river. So everybody will come to the shore of Jahannam. In minkum illa wariduha kana ala rabbika hatman ir wajiban maqdiyan qudiyya bihi. That is must for Allah to bring everyone there. So he said, Ya Rasulullah, I don't want to see it even. Imam Muslim narrates Hadith in Tabur Iman. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that there is a bridge which is over Jahannam. When you will cross over the bridge which is called Sirat. So you will cross over towards Jannah and then you will go to Jannah. 
And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the flame of Jahannam, it will be raising up, are raising up. So anybody who is crossing over, if he has filled sins, guna, zunu, so the flame will scratch him. Someone only like, yes, so a red line happened. Another one, little bit more deep in flesh. A third one is born inside, will be hit by that flame. A fourth one, he would be caught by the flame and he would be thrown there in the hellfire. Depend, what is the level of his zunub and sins? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Laha kalalibu mishtu shawke saadhan. Saadhan, that's a shrub type thing. I don't know what they call it in English. We call it Markundi. In Urdu also Markundi. So, its stone is like a road one, but having two needles on both sides. And that's a little bit crooked. You can call it hooked type thorn. Rasulullah says that the flame it will be having hook type flames, which will catch the person. Depend to what extent. So that Sahabi said, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When I recited this ayah, I feel fear. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, that hold on. Don't be upset. A moment. For sure he will be passing over Jahannam. To cross over the bridge. Towards Jannah. But when he will be passing over. So the flames of Jahannam will cry. And it will say. Juzya moment. Fa inna nuraka qad atfa al hari. Let hurry up O the true believer. Because the nur of your iman is a Killing my flames. Juzya mumin. Fa inna nuraka qad atfa ala habi. So Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala han. He said, Akhbirdi bi amari nukhilni al jannah wa ba'idni an al nar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ma qad sa'alta an aziz. Wa innahu la yaseer ala man yasr allahu alayhi. Mu'az, you ask me about a very big thing. Our Azim is in the meaning of Mushkil. You ask me about a very Mushkil thing. The question, that's very Mushkil. Very difficult. But that is very easy. For one on whom Allah will make it easy. Allah. To worship Allah. Wala tushrika bihi shi'a. Not to include anything as a partner and associate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa tuqeem as-salah. And to perform the prayer. Wa tuqi al-zakaat. To pay zakaat. Wa tasum al-ramazan. To fast in Ramazan. Wa tahujj al-bayt. And to visit the house of Allah for hajj. And then he said, Ya Ma'az. Should I not inform you about the gates of khair and good? <coughs> Gate of khair means the moment you will enter, there is only khair. There is only good. Nothing is bad and evil there. That is harmful there. Allah adulluka ala abwaab al khair. Qultu bala ya Rasulullah. I said, of course, O the Messenger of Allah. Now look. What was his question? The answer is given by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Job is done. But as these sahaba, they were eager to learn more. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was giving them extra stuff. 
just like bonus, much more than the actual salary. You know what I'm For example, your salary is 3,000 and bonus for one month you got 10,000. You will be more than happier than that. Once again. Yes. 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 The same, Sabah. <laughs> because it doesn't mean that you will say only once yes and job is done. مکتب عشق کے انداز میں را لے لے کے اس کو چھٹی نہ ملی جس نے سبق یاد کیا there is such a مکتب in school and مدرسہ that if you are good to memorize what you are learning so it means you will go ahead it doesn't mean that you will go home no further more classes so anyhow رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم he told him السو مجمع so, Jun, fasting is a shield. In shield, the fighter protect and defend himself by using that shield. Taking the arrow with, the knife with, the hit of sword with, to protect himself. So, Asamu Junna, that's a shield, it will protect you from the hellfire, from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sadaqa. تُطْفِئُ الْخَطِئَ كَمَا يُطْفِئُ الْمَاءُ النَّارِ Sadaqa and charity, it kills and extinguishes the fire and flame of sin like as water is killing the flames of fire. وَصَلَاةُ الرَّجُلْ فِي جَوْفِ اللَّيْلِ الْآخِرِ And the prayer of someone in the last portion of night before dawn break means the hajjud. Sunnah Allah. And then in support of this last point, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the ayat tatajafa junubum anil mazajya. Yadun rabbam khawfum wa tamaka wa imma razaqnahum in fiqoon. That the true Muslims are those. Tatajafa junubum anil mazajya. That they are waking up from their bed. At that time, Yadawuna Rabban Khawfan Wa Tamaban They are invoking their Lord with fear and raja expectation. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Al-Imanu Bain Al-Khawfi Wa Raja The true belief is in between fear and expectation. Fear and hope. Because if somebody has fear only, he will get shrunk. Yes. His asab and muscles will get broken. He will be of no use. And if somebody, he has only hope, once again he will become lazy. There will be nothing wrong here, dear. Jannah is our khala house. We will go there. So to balance your personality, you have to hold fear and hope and to walk in between them. يَدْغُونَ رَبَّهُ خَوْفًا وَتَمَعًا وَلِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And from what we have provided with them, they are spending in the fount of Allah. They are helping the creature of Allah. فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسُ مَا أُخْفِي لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ عَيَرٍ Nobody knows what I have kept hidden or secret for them as far as pleasure and happiness is concerned. As you know, look at me. Sometimes, you bring something for your kid, boy or girl. You are having it secret, especially on birthday, as that is a custom. Yes. So we say to our son and daughter, for example, close your eyes. Yes. Just like this. Then we bring it forth. We say, surprise. Oh, that is called Purratu Ayyan. Aamko ki thandak. Mean happiness. Fala ta'alamu nafsa. Ma ukhfiya lahum so. In technical word, you can say, what a surprise I have kept for my slaves. Fala ta'alamu nafsa ma ukhfiya lahum in Purratu Ayyan. Jaza'am bima kanu ya'maroon. As a recompense for what they used to do. The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Mu'az, Ya Mu'az, 
معاذ واز ٹوٹلی اٹینڈر رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے دیا معاذ اللہ اخبر کے براس الامر و عمود و ذروت سمام should I not inform you on the starting point of this deen that this deen start with and that accomplish with what there was a tsunami and the highest of the peak of its hump and its backbone or central pillar which hold the canopy standing قلت بلا يا رسول الله اي شيء يا سيدي رسول الله رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في راس الامر على الاسلام the starting point of this deen is submission because deen itself is islam so we cannot say that the starting point of this deen is islam oh this deen is islam so what do you mean by starting point So here Islam is in, in uh, little sense. Islam literally means surrender, submission. And that submission, that's a constant amal. Even a prophet and messenger, he is asking for Islam. Otherwise, he is the base and foundation of Islam. He is the one who carries the message. But still Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam and Ismail, When they built up the house of Allah, Rabbana wa Jalla Muslimin ilaka. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Ma yarabu an milati Ibrahim illa man safiha nafsa, wa la qad istafina wa fi dunya, wa inna fi lakhla tabila is qala lahu Rabbuhu." He was a Muslim, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He said, "Ibrahim, Aslim, be a Muslim." It doesn't be like this. Aslim means submit. surrender to allah wherever you are it means in every aspect of life and in every walk and way of life you have to submit to allah subhanahu wa taala because deen is not a matter of pick and choose that's our foolishness that we are making pick and choose in deen what suit us we say you are some good muslim but what will harm us in one way or the other yes some way out This is not Islam. Fil manshat wal bakra. You like it or you don't. That's the order of Allah. This practice accordingly. Wa ma ataqum al Rasul fa khuluhu. Wa ma nahaqum anhu fa antahu. Wa taqulah. Inna Allah shadid al aqab. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, whatever this messenger has given you in his words or his deed and action. Fakuzu, hold it firmly, practically, <coughs> and whatever he is forbidden from, abstain from, and fear Allah. Don't make a pick. Don't make a pick and choose. A fatum in order to bazu kitab wa takfuruna bi baz. For my jazaa, my yafalu zali kamil kumil la khizun fil hayati dunya wa yom al qiyamah yuradun al ashad al azab wa Allah bi ghafil amma tamalun. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, What suit you? You would believe me. And what is difficult? In Urdu, we say "mita mita," half half and karwa karwa. Two two. Yes. What is sweet? That's delicious. And what is a little bit sour? Al al al. No, you have this is a package. You have to have it. This is a package. Have it or leave it. Yes, weakness is there. Certain things because of our weakness, we cannot do it. So there we will say astaghfirullah. Yes, don't make excuse for it. The problem is, look, why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala curses the Iblis? When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Why you did not make a sajda to Adam is Amar Tuk." So if he would have said, "Sorry, astaghfirullah." Allah is kareem. You would have to no problem. Just go ahead. But he started presenting excuse and not excuse. Who would end up with a case where he would be in the middle of the war? Three. He started showing his muscle to Allah. He said, "Lam akul li azul li bashar min khalaf ta min din." I am not a person of that caliber. 
that I will surrender to someone, I will make sadda to someone you have created from dirt and you have created me from flame. Dirt is black. The flame is white. Dirt is falling down. The flame is going up. So how can I make a sadda? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَخُلْ مِنْهَا فَيْنَكَ رَجِيمًا Go stupid guy. Get out of here. So, why? Because he presented excuses. So, whenever something happened, violation of the rule of Allah, so say, Astaghfirullah. So, Mu'az said, Yes, Ya Rasulullah. So Rasulullah sallallahu said to Rasul Amri al-Islam wa umudu as-salat the central pillar of this canopy or structure is prayer. Wazir wa tusanamihi al-jihad the utmost highest peak of it is the humble. And as you know as a farmer I know that the bull price depend upon Upon its hump. You know hump? In Urdu we call it kub. Got it? If the kub that is very high, it means that is from Ala Nasr. That is from highest range. So the price is too much. Kub is small. She may die. Yes, the price is not that high. So it means that the kuba, the hump, gives a beauty to the bull and to the camel as well. And it gives its price and value. Waziru to sanamihi al-jihad. And then he said, Ya Mu'az, Allah addulluka wa ikhburuka bi milaki al-amri kulli. Should I not inform you about the main switch of this deen, practice-wise? Every light and thing, it has its own switch. So if you will turn off the switch of this fan, only it will stop the other fan to be running. Of this light, only this one turned off, the other lights will still be giving light. But there is a main switch. If you will turn off that one, all the lights are off, all the fans are off. So let's be luck. The main switch? I said yes. So Rasulullah Prophet brought out his tongue and held it with his fingers and he said Kuffa alayka lisanak. Stop it. Uh, misuse. Hold it. Kuffa alayka lisanak. Control it, not to speak about In an asar, it is said, La taj'alu al-sinatakum manajid. Don't make your tongues as sickles. Daranti. In Urdu, we got it what? Right? Daranti. Harvesting it. Then don't make your tongue a daranti or a sickle as I see Kali. Don't make it a sickle. Cutting, yes. Wild and good shrub and weed and everything with. And sometimes even in ground there is a snake. And the farmer, he cut the snake with that daranti as well. And sometimes the snake bites him. Then <coughs> he holds it like this. So Rasulullah says, don't cut and harvest every good and bad with this tongue. Harvest only good with. So Sayyidah Mu'az, he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, We would be seized for what? Our head responsible for what? We are talking about our words. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he smiled. And he said, Sakilat ka ummu ka ya Mu'az. Mu'az, may your mother believe to you. May your mother believe you. The literal meaning is, meaning is not meant there. That's a proverb. That was a common use in Arabic. Yes. 
So that's not a bad dua. That's not a bad word. Yes, that's a common talk. Yes. May your mother believe you. وَهَلْ يُكِبُّ النَّاسِ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى مَنَاخِرِهِمْ أَوْ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَيْدُ أَلْسِنَتِهِمْ People would be thrown upside down in the hellfire because of the harvest of their tongues. مَا يَلْفِذُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Whatever you are spelling out, what you are speaking, good or bad, that is written in your personal file. And you will be put to accountability for that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to practice accordingly and to be Muslim properly. To submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in each and every condition and forms of ours and to be proper Muslim. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqi Muhammadin wa ali wa ashabi jma'in bi rahmatika wa 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 rahm